So in this video, let us look into the time intelligence function in DAX. Now with the help of time intelligence function, you can gain insight with respect to date and time perspective. Some of the calculations that we can do are year to date, month to date, quarter to date or same period last year etc. Problem statement. Calculate the total revenue year to date. Now suppose I want to analyze my total revenue year to date. So suppose I have the data for three or four financial years and I want to calculate the revenue by year. Now a year to date function or YTD function returns a table after performing calculations from the start of the year till the date in the corresponding row and goes on till the end of the year and starts afresh from the new year. So let us start our demo by performing a year to date or YTD calculation. So here again I am in my Power BI desktop and under the report view. Now here I will add a matrix. Now under the calendar table I will select date. And then I will change the hierarchy over here. Now to this, from the all DAX table, I will add the total revenue measure. So now you can see the total revenue for each date. Now to perform the YTD calculation, I will add a new measure. And I will name this measure as Revenue YTD. And then I'll start with the calculate function. Hit the tab and select this. Now the first argument is expression. And here the expression will be total revenue. So I will select that. Comma. Now the next argument is filter. So now we have to perform this calculation based on the YTD function. So I will type in dates YTD. So here we have the dates YTD. Now just like dates YTD if you want to perform month to date and quarter to date. You can choose these dates MTD and dates QTD function as well. Now since in this example we are performing the YTD calculation I will select dates YTD. So I will hit the tab and select it. Now the first argument that it is asking for is dates. So here it is nothing but the calendar date so I will select that. Now the second argument is optional so I will just close the bracket and hit enter. So you can see here that we have the revenue YTD measure added to the all DAX table. Let us add it to our matrix. Let me expand this so that we can have a complete view. Now here you can see that for the month of January, the revenue YTD and the total revenue values are the same. This is because for the 1st of January, the aggregate that is the revenue YTD is just for that particular day because that is the first day of the year. Now if you have a look at 2nd January, you can see that the revenue YTD or the aggregate is for the revenue on January 2nd and as well as for January 1st. And if you look at 3rd January, you can see that the aggregate is for the revenue on 3rd January as well as all the revenues on the days before that but in the same year and then it continues the same way for the whole year. So if you look at the revenue YTD for February 1st, it is the calculation for the revenue on February 1st and all the days in January for the same year. Now if you scroll down to the end of the year, so let me just scroll down to 31st December. Okay and here we are. 
So here you can see that for December 31st, it is the aggregate of revenue for the whole year of 2015. Now when we move to the next year, that is January 1st, 2016, it is a fresh calculation. So you can see that the revenue YTD for January 1st is the aggregate for only that day of the year. And as we move on to January 2nd, you can see that the revenue keeps on adding up. So it's the total revenue for 2nd January and 1st January. And so on it goes on till the end of the year 2016 as well. So that is how the YTD calculation works. Now similarly, MTD or month to date calculation returns a table after performing calculation from the start of the month to the last date of that month and then starts fresh from the next month. So let us tweak this YTD calculation a little bit and see how an MTD works. So I'll change this dates YTD to dates MTD. So nothing else needs to be changed because the calculation has to be done on total revenue and the column that we'll be using is date. So I'll just go ahead and hit enter. And we can see over here that it performs similar calculation as it was in the case of YTD. But the only thing is it starts from first of every month and keeps on adding until the last day of that month. And once that month ends, like you can see over here, 31st January is the last day of the month. It also ends the aggregation over there and starting from the next month, it starts a fresh calculation. And then it continues just like that for the whole month. So it ends adding up on 28th February and starts fresh from 1st of March. And in the same way, if you want to perform quarter to date analysis, you can use the dates QTD function. Now let me revert it to our original dates YTD calculation as that is what we were supposed to do as per our problem statement. So this is how a YTD or a year-to-date calculation works.